Now, at a time when homelessness is increasing across the nation, one community is finding a tiny solution to a huge challenge. Kirsten Mitchell has a story from St. Paul, Minnesota. I was actually living in a tent um, down on the river. Now, David Doran has an address and a sense of security. It's great. It's, I got a door that I can lock. <laughs> He's one of eight tenants living in six tiny homes outside Mosaic Christian Community in St. Paul, known as a sacred settlement. It's not a stop to someplace better. They're welcomed home as long as they pay rent and follow the policies and want to be there. For a couple hundred dollars a month, tenants also have access to the church where there's showers, a kitchen and living and dining rooms. Then we try to be as low barrier as possible. We say come. Come as you are. Come welcome home. After years of zoning challenges, a new state law opened the door. We were thrilled that the legislation passed, recognizing that homes built to this standard for these purposes on religious land like this is a recognized form of housing in Minnesota. I love the idea of kind of that minimal living. At Mosaic, not all tenants experienced homelessness. And I want to be able to spend time with our neighbors who often are overlooked, but are amazing people who have gifts and strengths and just need, need a community. Rose Larson is helping people find that community by being what's called an intentional neighbor. Each of my neighbors just contribute so much and that restores such a sense of value and worth. That's a distinct difference in this form of housing. For David, it's more than a home, it's hope. Thank you, thank you very much. I don't know where I'd be today without it. 